What is up you guys? Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to clear up hazy headlights, foggy headlights. This uh, 335 I just bought, one of the downfalls that's been bothering me are these uh, hazy headlights. I don't know if you guys can see, this is on the outside. Um, the lenses are starting to oxidate and yellow and it's going across the whole lens. It's like the sun almost burned into them. So, I've done this before and I'm going to share with you guys the best method I have found to make these look like glass again. So let's get to it. Okay, so ignore my messy workbench here, but I'm going to focus on the products we're going to be using today. And the main star here, the thing you're going to want the most is this 3M Headlight Restoration Systems Kit. Uh, I've used this before, I've used other kits. This is the best one I've found. Uh, it works the best, it's a good value for the price, and uh, I'm just going to continue using it because I know it works well. Um, in addition to that, you'll need a, a drill here, whether it's um, cordless or battery powered, uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, I actually like to use the ones corded because then I don't have to worry about burning through the battery. They usually have a little more power, but any drill will work. Um, then you'll also want some masking tape. Um, this you'll be masking off kind of the bumper and surrounding areas so you don't scuff that up while you're using this kit. You only want <clears throat> to be using that on the headlights. And then you'll need a spray bottle filled with water. So I will link all this stuff in the description, this kit, uh, some good tape I've had, and uh, all the, and it also wouldn't hurt to have a microfiber cloth. You can get away without having one, but it's a lot easier to wipe off the lenses in between the steps um, so you're not carrying over debris. So I guess it's pretty important you either have at least a microfiber towel or even a shop towel would work. So that's our parts list. Um, I'm gonna dive right into it, so let's get started. Step one is to spray this down uh, with just a regular glass cleaner. Um, just getting any dirt, debris. If you just washed your car, you should be fine. Uh, but I know I got a few dead bugs here on my front end that I want to at least get off before we start using the 3M kit. So that's the first step, clean the lens. In the next step, we're going to start masking off the areas around the headlight. So if you have a a spot where your hood meets the headlight, it's just easier to pop the hood. One less area to tape, and then you'll grab your 3M tape and start taping all the uh, painted panel body areas around the headlight. Uh, this just protects the paint um, so that once we start sanding, we don't have to worry about scratching up and sanding through good paint. So I'm going to fast forward this clip, but you want a couple layers of... Uh, masking tape to cover all these spots so all right so as you can see here I taped up all the surroundings of the headlights uh, I actually did a double layer of tape on all the areas immediately around the headlights just because on creases like this as you begin uh, the restoration process you might burn through the first layer of tape so I just do two two layers of tape all the way around and I do another piece of tape so you've got two wide and two deep doesn't hurt to go overboard with the tape and I've just laid a blanket over the top of the engine bay just so water and splatter doesn't get up in there but now we should be ready to go ahead with the first step of the actual uh, 3M process. So let me pop this open and I'll explain what to do next. Okay, so once you open the package, you're gonna see a couple different things inside. Uh, this orange pad, this is gonna be for the very final step, so you can go ahead and set that aside for now. Uh, and then you'll also notice this is the drill attachment. And on this piece here is a special sanding foam disc. This peels off of here, and again, you'll save this until towards the end of the process. Uh, and then what you'll have left here is two different color sanding pads. There's a, an assortment of the same two pads. And uh, the, the, the gold ones here are the ones for step one, and the white ones are for step two. So we'll set the white ones aside, and you'll grab one of these gold ones and uh, go ahead and attach it to this, to this drill piece. You'll want to center it and then press down just like that. Um, 
Then we'll take the drill, insert it into the drill, and uh, tighten it up on the drill, and now we'll get going. So as you can see, I just wet the headlight and wet the pad. Um, you always want to keep this wet just so you don't burn through the plastic on the headlight. And one other thing I want to mention before I get started is when you're doing this, you want to be flat right on the headlight. You don't want to be going at an angle with the pad, uh, going this way, that way. You want it to be face to face with the headlight all over the headlight. And then once you start moving around, you don't want to be doing this, this, move in a clean pattern like that, down, up, down, up and work your way around the whole headlight until it's got an even sanding across the whole headlight, head to head, just like that. So that being said, let's get started. So this is what a uh, good first step would look like. A nice even sanding. This is one of the most important steps of the whole process because this is the grittiest sandpaper and you want to really get those defects out in this stage and from here on out you're kind of refining it, getting it clearer and clearer and clearer. So this first step, you want it to be hazy. Um, you want to get all those bad defects out in this step before moving forward. So sand all the way down until you've noticed you got all of the harsh oxidation out. Um, there can still be some imperfections because now it's gonna be foggy automatically. You just sanded out the imperfections. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you a mistake and kind of what I'm talking about here. See down here um, where the tape is? You'll notice I, uh, I sanded through one of my layers of tape. It's hard to see, my camera will not focus. But um, you can kind of see let me just try and manually focus this. You can see right there on this area I sanded through the tape through to the silver part of the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and add more tape. You might wanna do more than two layers and I can already tell um, even here I might be getting close to burning through one layer. So I'm gonna dry this off and quick apply another layer of tape and um, you'll also wanna go ahead and kinda wipe off this lens after you've done your first round of sanding to verify there's no crazy um, pitting or oxidation left. But as you can see, now it's really hazy. But that's the whole point. You have to sand out the imperfections before moving on. Um, you can even see, I don't know if this comes through on the camera, there's still a little bit of um, oxidation here. It's not completely smooth hazy. You, you want to look for a smooth, hazy finish. That means you're ready to just keep polishing away, but there's still some oxidation there. So I'm gonna hit that area again, put some more tape on, and then we'll move on to the next step. See, it's got a nice, even haze over it compared to the first pass and even the second pass. You can no longer see where the oxidation was starting. Um, you have no indication of where that was. Nice, even sanding. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the, uh, one of the white sanding discs on and then do the same exact thing. Now we've got the white sanding disc on. I'm gonna go ahead and get the headlight wet again. Get the disc wet and we'll start sanding away. Okay, so I just got done with the uh, white sanding, which is step two, and you'll see the sanding marks are a lot finer. So you wanna make sure you're getting rid of all the coarse sanding marks, and then you can move on um, from the white sanding pad. So I think this looks pretty even. I don't see any deep scratches, just a lot of fine scratches if you look close. It's pretty smooth, a lot of fine scratches. So now we're gonna move on to the next step which is this thicker foam pad. There's only one of these. Uh, it's a 3000 grit, as you can see on the back there. And you'll be getting this thing wet and keeping this wet, same as we have been in the past, 
and doing a full pass. After this, we should be able to see a visible difference in the lens. Now you can see we're really starting to reap the rewards of our hard work here. Um, not all the way done obviously, but this is with that uh, foam gray pad. We were able to get all the, uh, the sanding scratches out of the headlight and now you've just got a light haze to it. So um, this is looking perfect. No more oxidation. The lens looks clean. We just got to get this thing to its final stage, which is gonna be using this uh, orange pad here. So once you've got through the third stage with this, remove the gray pad, insert the uh, orange one here, and um, this kit also comes with this um, rubbing compound. So this is kind of the key to creating it um, a glass finish. You'll put the orange pad on the drill bit, and put a dollop of this on and I'll show you how to properly apply that so we can get this thing looking brand new. All right, I've got the orange pad on the drill and as you can see, I've got a couple small um, pieces of that rubbing compound onto the pad itself. And then once you do that, you wanna go ahead and kinda smear it around the areas you're gonna be using it. This prevents um, slinging the compound all over the garage and making a mess. Um, and you also don't want any dry spots on the lens. So kind of just dab it around a little bit like that, work uh, an area at a time, and um, I'll show you guys what this looks like. And by the way, it's very important before doing this that you wipe the lens clean. You do not want any water moisture. You do not use water on this step. The lens needs to be clean, um, dry. So I, I took a dry shop towel, wiped down the whole lens real good, no more moisture because you want this pad to stay dry. So with that being said, let's do the final step and see what, see what it's looking like. So as you can see with this orange pad, that just buffed all the remaining haze out of the, the lens, so it's looking like glass now. You can see all the reflections, no more hazing that was all over this. I'll throw up a picture of what it looked like before just so you guys can remember, but it's glass smooth, and then the only last step I would recommend is to constantly wax on this because now that we've buffed off the UV coating, they could yellow again. So you could ceramic coat it and that lasts forever or just put some wax on it once every like six months and you'll be fine. But now I can go ahead and I'll take all this tape off and wipe off the bumper. You want to spray this off with a hose. Don't just wipe it off because there's little particles in here and if you rub it in, you'll essentially just be sanding your bumper. So make sure you just spray that off with water and instead of wiping all that. But I'm going to clean all this up and show you guys the final product and then You'll still have enough materials left over to do the other side. Um, the kit comes with enough to do both sides and sometimes even more than that depending on how many passes you make. So I love this kit and that was my result so I hope you guys have the same results. Alright, I just pulled the car out of the garage and this is the final result. They're looking glass clean. I'm super happy with it. <clears throat> That's the left one and this is the right one. I mean, are they perfect? No, but they are so, so, so much better than what was in there before <clears throat> with all that oxidation. Now they're super glossy. So the next step actually is to get rid of those orange halos. I picked up a set of these Lux H8s, which should, uh, make those crystal white instead and a lot brighter. 
Um, so I'm pumped to get those in, but that's gonna be a separate video. So um, stay tuned and next up, you will see these Lux Angel eyes in there and you'll see a difference between the yellow and the white. So uh, until next time, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.